Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger Blind. Last time, we started like two quests, and now we're in the ruins trying to clear out all the monsters, I suppose. I mean, that's, I guess, that's what we're doing. Basically, what I've gotten from this experience is that fire. Basically fire, and you win. I mean, 1,500 damage. I mean, given these enemies are a little weak for us right now since we did use mages quite a bit in the Black Omen. That's a bit much that we're one-shotting them with multi-hit moves. I mean, it's so inexplicably easy. Also, I put in Robo for Frog because obvious reasons. Uh, because we want Robo's all, all of his text to be here. And more fire, I suppose. And there we go. Too easy. Should I even show these fights? They're so easy. There's nothing to them. I guess I shouldn't really be using Magus all the time. I mean, Magus is our strongest character. He's like, what, level 43 now? Isn't he? Yeah, he's like by far one of the best characters we have right now. I mean, I haven't, I still haven't used Luca's Flare. But we're going to you, we're going to leave that to the imagination for now. It uh, doesn't look like there's anywhere else we can go here, so now that we've killed all the enemies, I guess we need to call the guys back. Uh, actually, there's this direction, so what happened over here? Hopefully the uh, things are still dead. They are. Okay, so we should call them back. Alright, so I'm gonna go call them back, I guess. I'm not sure if I should cut. It's not that long of a walk. We can keep this in. So right down here to the residence, and we'll call him back. You want the northern ruins repaired? It'll cost- We have the money! Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. Alright, so they're gonna repair the thing more. Are we gonna have to do this more than once? I feel like this is going to be a recurring thing that we're gonna have to do. Anyway, just make our way back to the northern ruins. This might be slightly more tedious than I thought it would. We're done for now. We can't repair the spots with it. Sure enough. It's going to be like this. Okay, so let's head down the right path again first. Maybe they repaired the left path? Do the enemies stay dead? They sure do. Alright, so they didn't repair anything. I mean, they probably repaired over here. No, they didn't. They didn't do any- Okay, there's a sealed chest over there. There's some chests over there. They didn't repair anything over here. What's up with that? Alright. Well, then I guess they may be repaired to the left. Hopefully. Okay, they did. So thank God they did something. So let's move on then. Uh, another gravestone? Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus, rests here. Oh. Should we bring Frog out to see if he does anything about this? We probably should. Maybe I should just keep Frog in the party. I mean, I don't feel like I'm going to be using Ma Robo that much. Oh, sure enough. There you go. So, what's happening? Cyrus, I hath returned. I shall honor my promise to thee. Who? more awesome frog cutscenes. Can't ask for much more than this. You really can't. Alright, so... Cyrus. Glenn. Thank you for making the journey here. Dear Cyrus, thou must think ill of me. On the contrary, you have come far, my friend. When Magus defeated me, I thought all of all those whom I had left behind. King Guardia, Queen Leanne, and of course, you. Cyrus, your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now, knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait, I... I... And there he goes. The Queen. Look after Queen Leanne. Alas, and farewell, Glenn. And Frog breaks down. I'm so sorry, Cyrus. Alright. Well, touching scene. The massive- whoa, what? Are we going to get an upgraded Masamune? 
Is this gonna happen? Are we gonna get even more crits? Hehe, <laughs> that's it. Wait, what? I'm confused. That was special. Quite. I guess it means that a hero's power comes from within. Mucho metaphysical, man. Like mind over matter, Mune. My mind? Now for a yummy full-on test. It's thrash at what? Oh, I thought they were going to like become a boss again and fight us, but like, nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. So, is it upgraded or something? Tis flowing with strength and vigor. Ah, tis the true identity of the Massimum. It seems like it was upgraded. Cyrus, I promise to fulfill your wishes. Tis a sad farewell. Onward all! Alright, so it seems like we've wrapped up that side quest then. Um, Masamune, he has it equipped, and for Shizzle, it is the strongest- Whoa! 187? Hold on, doesn't that make him our strongest character now? I think it does. Oh, that's quite nice. Does it still have, like, the- No, it doesn't have the higher- Hold on, so we can just give him the hero medal back. And it ups the critical hit rate again. So yeah, we can do that, but I think I might want to keep the amulet on him since he is our healer. Also, we be switching back to Ro- Oh, no. We be switching back to Robo. So now Frog's even more overpowered, in addition to Frog Squash. For some reason, I kept calling it Frog Quash, because when I looked at it in the menu, it, I, I said Frog Squash first, but when I looked back at it in the menu, it looked like Frog Quash, so I just started calling it Frog Quash then. Anyway, uh, we need them to repair even more of the things. Yes. Alright, so they should repair all those areas, and we should be able to get to those extra chests. I hope. That would be nice. So, see you when we get there. Alright, here we are, and sure enough, looks like we can go everywhere now. So, first off, this chest... Uh-oh. It's giving us a choice. Should we not open it until 1000 AD? Um... I think this is one of the cases, so let's not do that. Just because this is 600 AD, I realize that. So that might be the same uh, case. And we got a elixir, so that's cool. Also, it should be repaired in the future too. So now we can go down here. What's gonna? Ha oh, more useless enemies. All right then. Like I should even bother showing that fight. You know what went down. You know what went down. Isla leveled up, so that's nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and restore his MP, because that seems to be a thing that needs restoring. Also, I did move the mid-tonics up way up here, instead of way at the bottom of the menu screen. So that should be helpful. Um, anything in here? Oh, more enemies. Do I... Oh, new enemies. Okay, so that's a thing. Defunct and base. Hold on, didn't we... Aren't bases the same things that were in the future? I think they are. Because we had acids and we had bases. Yeah, I think they might be. Except they have more HP. A lot of more HP. So let's deal with that. Oh, and they do lots of more damage. Oh, wait, can we not hit them? Are these the enemies that we can't hit with physical attacks? It looks like it, so we need to use magic then. Also, it looks like the counterattack, so that's a problem. Uh, well, if they counterattack, oh, no, that might not, yeah. You use the revive, you use the dark mist. Will that hurt them? Will that hurt them because, are they undead or not? Let's find out. Uh, no, they're not undead, and it killed them, so that's good. All right, then. And Robo leveled up. Good thing we revived him, then. Obvious we gotta, obviously we gotta heal him now. Oh, 999 HP. Is that max? Is that max HP? I think it is. So soon enough, he'll have enough HP to where he'll have max HP even without the ring that we have on him, which increases his HP by 25%. So we'll be able, we'll be able to give him another item instead. Oh, two more sealed chests. 
Alright, so... Oh, we have to kill everything again. God, okay, so... First off, fire two to knock out the two Skeletors. Um, you go ahead and use Laser Spin to see if it'll knock out these two bases that we have here. Isla can't really do anything to them because she is a thing. Because she doesn't have magic. Um, I don't know. Uh, no, it did not knock them out. So, you get your thing and fire two. And they should be knocked out now. So that's good. Hopefully, uh, I'm not sure if this area is going to have enemies in the future, because we haven't really gotten to an enemy in the future yet. Alright, so now we have these two sealed chests. Uh, are these something we leave again? Let's do that. And once again, yeah. So it looks like we're coming back here in the future. And uh, we have plenty of time for that, actually, so I'll cut back when we get back to here in the future. Alright, so here we are, um, let's see if they repaired. Yes, sure enough, it stays repaired after 400 years. So we can now get these things, and there's no enemies here either, that makes me happy. Nova armor, sure enough, sure enough, it's a level up. So what does that do? How good is that? Moon arm, oh my Jesus. And magic defense plus 10 along with that. Oh, okay, let's keep the Gloom Cape on him. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure if I even want to give it to any of these guys. You can't wear it, because you're a woman. And women can't wear good armor, apparently. That would make... Oh, God, Robo is the biggest tank. Literally, and in the form of a character stats. Oh, that's amazing. I love... Uh, Robo, Robo's just getting better and better. He has max HP... Increased defense, super high defense, and it just makes me happy. So now these two items. We have a Valkyrie, so that sounds like a weapon. And a Shiva Edge. Okay, so let's check out what those are. And the items, because I don't care to look through all the... Okay, so the Valkyrie is for Marl. And... The... where to go? Where to go? Uh... dude? Dude? Dude! Shiva Edge! Four times damage with the critical, and that's for Chrono. Is it more powerful than the Slasher 2? Guess we're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and slap Chrono and... actually, nope, wrong place. Let's slap Chrono here, and uh, Marl, we might as well give her her weapon too. And it's equipment time. Alright, so Chrono, you, the Shiver Edge. Mmm, do I want it? Do I want it? I think I do, because you get, you get criticals quite often. So that would actually be really useful. And Marl, you get the Valkyrie, which increases your power by a lot. It actually makes you viable for attacking. That's ridiculous. So Marl might not be as useless as I thought she was. Uh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. Alright, so that's that seems to be pretty much everything we can do in here. So, let's get out of here. So what else do we still have to do? We need to... We need to go to the cave that is like northwest of here and that is in 1000 AD or one yeah this is 1000 AD that is in this time period so we can do that uh, let's go ahead and switch back our party members because I still want the text that they have to learn actually speaking of which uh, we haven't checked out what Magus learns next so let's look at that he gets black hole power of life death Alright, so he had, that needs a lot of skill points until he gets there. And you still need... Oh, you're really close to getting that. And you should be too. 41. You've got a while to go, Magus. So that's cool. Uh, let's fly on over. Because that seems to be the only way we're going to get there. We should still be fully healed. Uh, whoa, what, what? Oh, is it in... Hold on. Is it in 600 AD? It might be. 
I guess it's not in 1080 then, because he well he wouldn't know what was a what a thing was where a thing was in the future. Uh, is this it? Uh, yeah, it should be. So let's go ahead and land here. Save just in case there's anything menacing in here, because I actually haven't saved in a long time. This is quite the chapter, isn't it? Lots of things. Giant claw. All right, so this is a place. Hey, look. Thomas crumpled notes. These holes, what if I jump on into them in purpose? Yes, I'll start back at the beginning and... Okay, so holes we have to jump down to? That's interesting. Whoa, wait. <laughs> oh my god. God, Magus, you are a kidder. Reptite's castle here? Yeah, this looked familiar. This must have been pushed underground when Lavos fell to earth. Oh, that's true. Slamming the door. What do you know? This must have been pushed underground when Lavos fell... I already read that. So yeah, this place has been around for 65 billion, million years. That's interesting. Um, chests. Oh, wait. Aren't these things, like, super incredibly weak? Uh, alright, well then use lightning too, because if I remember correctly, dinosaurs are weak to lightning. Actually, they seem to be a little stronger. They're doing quite a bit of damage. So, that should hurt. Oh, just a little bit. Ultra, oh, you're the guy that does the counterattack. Wait, no, did you do a counterattack? I don't think you did counterattacks in the past. Regardless, let's take you out. You shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, wow. Okay, so these aren't the same enemies that we had earlier. Well, that's interesting. Also, Isla should be getting... Tailspin. She did, and Mage just leveled up. So here we have a sight cap. What's that? What's that do? You do... Preventing chaos. Oh, that's exactly what we need. That is exactly what we need. And it's only a decrease of a lot, actually. Uh, crap. Hmm. Maybe we'll give it to someone who doesn't have as good as armor. But that is exactly what I've been wanting. Uh, hold on. Was there another item that we got that I didn't check? I don't think so. Uh, alright. Well, let's heal. And get on with the thing. Alright. So, yeah. Nothing down here. Down here we have... Another random battle with new enemies. So, if I... Lizard Dactyl. Beautiful name. Wait, isn't that the thing that have? Nope. It looks like the same attack that that one enemy was doing that halves your HP, but I guess it's a different attack. Oh, that heals them. Okay, well that's not okay. Oh, what do you know? Something that inflicts chaos. It would have been nice to have that cap, don't you think? Maybe we should equip it just right now. I mean... Oh, he, wait, did he, did he not get inflicted with chaos? Okay, these guys do lots of attacks. They do virtually no damage with it, but... Can you not do a walkthrough on an aerial enemy? Oh, Jesus Christ. We are messing up so much. Okay, so try ice then, I guess. Normal attacks on the lizard dactyls then. Shadow does damage. Wait, this is a counterattack, isn't it? It totally is. Oh, so why didn't Magus get inflicted with chaos then? Because Robo got inflicted with it. Does Magus have something that d pre prevents chaos? I should have known about this earlier. Anyway, hopefully we can kill these things. Because I'm not liking the counterattacks on these guys. Maybe it's only when you use magic on them. Oh, Jesus, we're actually at 20 minutes right now. Hold on. Before we go any... Oh, Robo got Uzi Punch. And the uh, Dual Tech Beastos. So, that's cool. Um, Next time, we're going to explore deeper into the cave. So, I will see you then, and goodbye.